blood in the streets, ladies and gentlemen. And on this video, literally I have zero emotion of what's going on in the market. Before I will explain to you what happened and we dropped overnight from $59,000 back to $48,000. And literally, I'm not stressed out. I'm very chill because I know where Bitcoin is going long term. And even if you're going to see further more bad things, the money print is going to happen faster and it's going to be bigger. So more liquidity is going to flow into Bitcoin because people are waking up slow and steady. And this is how supply shock is going to happen. And this is how actually Bitcoin is going to surpass the $1 million in the upcoming years. So I know where Bitcoin is going in the long run and I don't fear of what's going on in the short term. And I will put a full stop here and I will jump immediately uh, into what happened the last 24 hours. And because of that, smash the like button, subscribe to my channel, not only to support Chris, but also to push the word cast by into as many people as possible because people must know and learn about Caspa. So let's explain to you really fast. And I have actually uh, wrote here a couple important things of what happened the last 24 hours. And we crossed and generally why Bitcoin is dropping uh, the last two, three days. Uh, first of all, guys, I will jump immediately into the topic. Uh, first of all, guys, as you see, yen cows. The Japanese yen actually, guys, uh, had incredible, incredible cows last 24 hours. And that's uh, obviously the main reason of the big crash of not only the crypto market, but also in the stock market and also in the Japanese stock market. So really fast and really simple. OK, what happened? Some traders were borrowing yen with very low interest rate. They were getting the yen and for the people who don't know yen is actually the fiat currency of japan okay like i oversimplify everything so they were getting the yen they were borrowing the yen and they were converting the yen to usd to buy us assets mostly stocks okay with this way they were making more profits in the us assets that were higher than the cost of the debt so they could make tremendous gains and also cover the debt with that way. And this was happening for years, like for many, many years, above a decade. This was actually very stable. But the last week, Bank of Japan, after a meeting, they decided to raise their interest rates to 0.25%. After many years, like since 2007, it was the last a uh, spike on the interest rates and from 2007 right now it was the second time on 2024 august so what happened on such a move from the bank of japan that did a stupid move with that way actually the yen has strengthened a lot against usd so the pair yen and usd crashed so their usd assets from the traders and from the people that were borrowing uh, yen to buy USD assets now won't be sufficient to cover the debt that they have borrowed because yen now is stronger. We understand like this is what happened with very, very simple terms. So this lead them to sell their USD assets in panic mode to convert them back to yen just to pay back their loans to do not get F completely you know the word f <laughs> so all that situation caused the yen to got more strength the pair uh yen and usd uh crashed usa stock market crashed japan stock market crashed bitcoin crypto market crashed people were selling to generate liquidity to cover the debt this is what happened in very very simple terms okay like here you see uh, the Japanese market crashed. Here you see Bitcoin crashed. Um, and also, yeah, uh, so also US uh, stock market crashed. And also, it's not only that thing that happened with the Japan uh, and yen. Also, guys, in the Middle East, 
the war is getting wild and when we have wars always we have some crash okay you can go watch uh even when israel invaded to palestine to fight with hamas whatever uh even at that period we had drop and in every war we have drop okay like even on us and ukraine we have big uh damp on the market like in every war we have crash so this middle east conflict that israel right now focus on lebanon and on, and on iran uh, and also it seems that us probably will be involved inevitably into that war guys you see that we have also some instability on the market and not only that we have guys as well u.s political instability <laughs> like biden gave up kamala and the democrats are way way anti crypto they don't like crypto so we don't like them twice and also uh i saw from the poll that donald trump percentages dropped so the instability of the u.s like is going crazy and it's crazy how the u.s such a powerful country are like circus like crazy like this political scene on us is going crazy um yeah like literally now that the world needs the us the most right now the us are doing crazy crazy stupid things anyway i hope for the best because uh, yeah i'm very very uh, optimist guy i'm not like that bearish and the world going to destroy it collapse and all, all of that stuff i hope always for the best and uh, i'm very optimistic that they're gonna find their way uh sooner or later i hope for the best uh in the u.s elections to finally i don't know who is going to be voted i hope a bitcoin guy to be a president but we will see nobody knows that uh anyway let let's leave that in the corner it's way another topic and also guys fourth reason why i believe that we drop is the wells that try to shake out to buy lower okay this is actually undeniable for me and this is how we dropped from seventy thousand dollars back to sixty thousand dollars it was a manipulation move from sixty thousand dollars back to fifty thousand dollars it was a move that um it happened because the fact because the fundamentals and now wells want you to believe that we're going to get lower and lower and lower and also they probably can push the price into even a lower position and they use leverages to create liquidity don't forget that and once they're gonna say okay now we have got the liquidity it was successful and everyone now believes that we're going to drop to twenty thousand dollars to uh, crazy scenarios like that now we are going to start buying back and this is how we're gonna uh buy cheaper and lower every billionaire right now every millionaire that took the orange pill of bitcoin like now is super happy like this is a bird game for them they buy millions every single day they do dollar cost average with millions so for them this is a party situation for you that you are a retail investor is actually uh the most disaster scenario that could happen in your life like you see the difference smart people buy at this point and this is actually the big difference you need to generate cash and put it into real assets this is why we hold like 80 percent casper and bitcoin for this specific reason it's like real assets as real as possible especially bitcoin casper is on the way to become a real true asset especially when it's going to be a complete project and also guys something before i move to caspa and how actually caspa uh, reacted and also bitcoin reacted from the ta side the fed emergency meeting it was fake news okay i would like to declare that because we saw that before a couple hours but it was fake okay don't actually uh, believe this and here i would like to uh, really fast to speak about the supports of bitcoin because guys as I have told you yesterday, when Bitcoin was at $57,000, $58,000, I told you that uh, for me, this is the worst case scenario of this situation before uh, actually 
um, informed about what happened on Japan with, with the traders and all that stuff. Guys, you see the orange box here is a very, very strong support that I don't believe it's gonna break easy. Also guys, our attention should be in the US institutions, how we'll react on such a scenario. And also if, let's say, if we see a disaster scenario here and break this orange box, which is really, really strong, I repeat that again, it's not so easy to break and see like something like that. But let's say fundamentally we're going to see tomorrow something else that is really, really bearish and we're going to drop lower because of the fundamentals. Guys, the next support of Bitcoin is the $44,250. As you see here, it was a very, very strong resistance uh, that Bitcoin actually retested many, many times until uh, it broke it here and we moved up. So that strong resistance is going to become a very, very strong support. And after that resistance, the next strongest support is the $38,000. Uh, As you remember, the OGs know that green box that I uh, predicted really, really well before uh, Bitcoin exploded, but this is too far away. I won't get that far away. And guys, let's say that if you're going to see all of these disaster scenarios, more money print is going to happen. And with that money print, we're going to have more liquidity available to come into Bitcoin. So more money going to come into Bitcoin and Bitcoin is not like um, as other assets that have infinity supply. Bitcoin has finity supply and that's what we speak about supply shock. And this is how we're going to climb into crazy levels. This situation reminds me, guys, the COVID crash. Literally, we had COVID crash a couple months later, two, three months, I don't remember precisely, moonshot. This is exactly what's going to happen. Also, our eyes are going to be in the Fed meeting on September to see what's going to happen with the rates there as well. So, yeah, we wait to see. The next two, three weeks, how institutions going to react. Also, uh, we wait to see what's going to happen on uh, the Fed meeting. And yeah, all you have to do now, guys, it's super easy. Either you're going to buy or either you're going to go out for a walk. You're going to go out for running. See your family. See, stop watching the charts. You cannot change anything now. It's not in your hand. Long term, Bitcoin is the only solution to save the world to save humanity the only hope for humanity and more and more people over time understand that and this is why they take the orange pill and with the infinity fiat currency they buy scarce asset the most scarce asset that's the bitcoin and now let's really fast speak about caspa caspa guys rank 21 you see that caspa even with this drop that Casper now is standing at 14.8 cents. Guys, it's standing in a very powerful position if you compare it with the other altcoins. Other altcoins crashed tremendously. And you see Caspa how powerfully is standing. It's actually, if you compare it with Bitcoin, Caspa is standing better than Bitcoin. It's crazy. Um, the current situation of Caspa, how uh, strongly is sitting from the 88 until now crazy that's a powerful position and also hash rate guys is moving up 750 petals per second sooner than you think straight to 1000 petals per second and we had today an announcement of binance binance pool launches the caspa mining pool enjoy zero pool fees with caspa mining find out more here crazy like the binance listing is going to happen sooner than you think lfg guys when this situation is going to be reversed and i can see that situation to be reversed in two three weeks from now like um hopefully i believe we have chances to see reversal and big bounce from this orange box so we will see step by step i'm gonna be here to analyze whatever move is going to happen on the market uh, but i believe sooner or later Everything is going to explode. Bitcoin is going to an 88, above $100,000. $200,000, I believe, is inevitable for Bitcoin. On this bull run and Caspa in such a scenario, going to explode into levels that most people don't believe. 
and with that way Casper gonna shock the world so all you have to do I repeat again hodl and buy and if you cannot buy go out for a walk see your family do activities do whatever it takes just to do not loop the charts and the markets if that caused you stress okay like if you cannot handle that go out and do other things don't look the charge in the one minute time frame those things require time and you cannot become you cannot make money on this space so easy like if you don't have patience like literally you are going to be in a worse financial situation than you have started because this space isn't for all 90 percent of the people lose money if you want to be in the 10 percent listen the 10 percent okay so that's what I have to tell you guys. Um, I hope I covered everything that I would like to say. And for the people who would like to save their cash by Bitcoin and whatever crypto in, with the safest way, guys, order a cold storage. Personally, I use Tazem. Highly recommend you to use Tazem as well because super reliable company, super safe and also very easy. And you see here with the discount code CryptoCris, if you go into the Tadzim site, click get Tadzim, it's going to put you in a second page. Go with a three card set in the promo code section. Click. I have a promo code. Right. Crypto Chris. Chris with Y, not with I. Click apply and you see beautifully 10% off in your order. Don't hodl your cryptos in exchanges and hot wallets. It's risky. You play with the fire to lose everything. You need to have the control of your money and cold storage is giving you the solution self-custody and for the people who ask me Chris where do you buy Casp I buy from xt.com guys because it's no KYC highly recommend you to go through this link click sign up register whatever and you're gonna have discount fees uh, for your purchases because when you pay in an exchange you have some fees so with my link you're gonna avoid couple fees significant fees and if you would like to have a family to share this crypto journey with like-minded people i highly recommend you guys to join in our uh networking group wealthnet guys we're all together like-minded people high quality individuals multimillionaires, businessmen real estate investors i highly recommend you to join you're gonna learn lots of things and also really really very valuable things are coming into wealth and so you don't want to miss those I highly recommend you to be in, otherwise you're going to lose when those things going to come. Anyway, uh, thank you so much, guys, for your support. Appreciate you for every like and every comment. I will see you all in my next video. Until my next video, your boy Chris out. Bye.